I'm David Bennett, North the Canadian Valley Technology Center in the Auto Collision Department. I'm the auto body instructor out there and started last November. Whenever I decided I was wanting a career change, I um, came through a little bit of tragedy. I lost my brother and he, we were 14 months apart and I thought, I'm not happy doing what I'm doing. And so I started pursuing other avenues and always had an interest in automobiles, so I just applied it more normal. There's a wait list because of uh, just the the amount of people who want to get in. And I waited my time and got in, and whenever I got in, it hit the ground running. And, um, I really enjoyed my time out here. I looked up to Joe, um, told him the very first day, I said, well, it was actually about the third day, I told him, it's okay if I take this book home, I'm going to, you know, start reading up on it and gave me a look. I said, what's going on? <laughs> and said, I'm okay. He goes, no, that's fine. Just nobody's ever asked to take a book home. <laughs> so um, that was just kind of my attitude. I was just an attitude of learning. I tried to absorb as much as I could here. Um, he really put some trust in me, uh, let me go ahead and get my hands dirty from the very beginning and um, took me to to Skills USA my first year here, and that was held at Metro Technology. And I just kind of went for the experience. I wanted to compete, but I just went for the experience and I ended up placing second. So that took me to state my first year and ended up going back to state the second year, which I got on stage. And just um, just helped mold who I am, just the, the whole atmosphere of it. The book was, was pretty cut and dry. One thing I learned about myself was that I did have an aptitude to, to, to use tools and to do these things that I've only seen at car shows and thought, that'd be cool. I'll never be able to afford that type of automobile or I'll never learn how to, I, I don't think I'd ever learn how to fix my own car after a tragedy happened, much less make money for doing it, much less start a career doing it. So it really gave me a sense of self-accomplishment, self confidence, really helped me grow into a person and even though I was an adult and I was in my 20s I still I felt like I matured right along with the high school kids you know because they helped me see life in a different way that you don't just have to have a job you can actually have a hobby that you can make money at and love to do um, it just becomes a passion whenever I was starting more normally getting involved I have a little bit of self-doubt, um, thinking, you know, it's just the unknown. Am I going to be able to make a career of this with investing so much time in it? I'm having to change my whole work schedule, and now I'm working at night to go to school during the day. Um, and then also being older and thinking, am I going to mesh with these high school kids? Am I going to be out of touch? And, you know, they, they still are high school kids, but there's a level of maturity that I didn't give them credit for. Um, we worked well together, they kind of looked up to me, I was able to um, kind of help them see a, a way of doing auto collision and put, doing hands-on activities that they didn't see, working a little bit smarter, not harder. Um, and as soon as I started, once I got out here, I realized it's just about the students, it's not about what everybody else is doing. It's, it's not about it's not just for high school kids, it's for adults too, and they catered to that and made it so much easier of a transition than I thought. At, whenever I was finishing up at More Norman, I went ahead and found a job at Body Pro, and they, they're located on Sunny Lane. They gave me a chance, um, and I just thought that was the coolest thing that all I did was put in an application, and they called me back and said, Hey, we'd like to hire you. Um, we talked to Joe, we heard that. You know, you're a stand-up guy, come come give us a chance, we're going to give you a chance. And from there, my career just started growing, and the amount that I learned on the job, it just transitioned so easy. Um, they would use terminology and keywords that I learned in class that just helped me, you know, help them have more trust in me. And from, from Body Pro, I've done custom work, I've done... Um, Collision work for the majority of it. I've done touch-up work for dealerships. 
And, you know, I, anytime we'd hire someone on, I was kind of acting as a, their, a mentor at times. And that really got me thinking and had me call back to Mr. Booker and say, I can't think of, I'm kind of thinking about teaching. What do you think? And he said, that would be a great idea. He said, you had the rapport with the high school students. You know, whenever people do hire on, they kind of let them shadow you. And it's because you set people at ease. Um, had nothing to praise for me with that. So from then, um, Mr. Booker got me in touch with some uh, faculty at UCO about maybe taking some classes, finishing up my degree. And from it just kind of kept snowballing. And before I knew it, I had a teaching degree, but I didn't have a teaching job. <laughs> I just just kept looking to open up for a tech website and before I knew it I got a call saying hey, position available in El Reno it's kind of a long drive but would you drive it so, well, Mr. Booker drives from Ardmore to Norman every day so I can go to El Reno from more every day it's no big deal um, and that's kind of how it that's kind of the evolution of it where I went from student to industry worker to the now an instructor and I, I've also taught nights in Metro Tech in the evening class, and that was that's strictly adults. My students range in age from 18 years old to 65. And one thing that I really like about adult students is they're just their willingness. I mean, it's just it's a beautiful thing to watch somebody at, go from zero confidence but have 100% willingness go to 100% confidence within a semester. One thing that Joe always did was whenever we got to class, he'd always start out with the story, in a sense, kind of bring us all in on the same mindset. That always related to the lesson. Um, past experiences in the industry, I try to do that too, where you know, I try to think of a time of, oh, well, today we're gonna be working with glass. Oh, I remember this one time. Um, So-and-so was putting the glass in, He's just trying to go real quick with it. Sometimes you can tap it down with a rubber mallet, just on the edges, and he just tapped it a little too hard and split it. Um, little stories like that to kind of implant in my students' minds of, okay, well, we're going to do this. I don't want to tap that glass too hard. Joe used to bring that stuff to us all the time. Um, whatever it takes to reach that student, that's what our job is, is just to take that step and. Um, Kind of reach out to them to set them at ease and give them the confidence and the, the assurance that we believe that they can do it. I wouldn't ask a student to do anything that I don't think that they could do. My expectations are high for them, but at the same time, the reality is I know they can do it because I did. I didn't have any technical skill coming into this. I, I made glasses uh, for my dad's optometry business. I worked in the lab and ran that lab and you know, I like cars. All I could do is wax a car. I could change the oil. <laughs> I mean, I could I could have pulled a quarter panel off, cut it off, weld it on, blend it in and burn the clear on the edges. I can do any of that technical stuff. I didn't even know what the terminology meant. But just because the confidence was given to me, that's what I bring to my students is just putting my faith in them and letting them know it's not the end of the world if it doesn't work because we can fix it. That's our job. That's what we 